hello guys uh, in today's tutorial I will uh, show you how you can access in O4G uh, database from um, .NET Core Web API so uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, uh, download the new O4G uh, database uh, you can uh, download the community edition it's free so uh, go to their site and under the download center uh, uh, you will find the enterprise uh, edition community edition and the, the desktop version uh, I'm going to use the community server then uh, after downloading the zip file extract it somewhere once you do that to start the server go inside the bin directory okay and open this in command prompt then to start the server you just have to run the new 4G start command okay so if it's able to start then you uh, you'll be able to see such message uh, which shows you the address the server is running on uh, if it fails one of the reasons could be the java version uh, uh, you have the java version uh, i'm using is uh, 11 so that's the version you have to use for uh, this version of new 4G okay so once you do that you can go to that address and open it in your browser and you will find uh, such an interface and in this interface uh, the default username and the password is new 4G new 4G but I have changed mine to root so I will log in with that So I'm now connected to uh, the server instance. Then I have already uh, created some keys. That's why uh, it's showing this. Uh, if you have uh, any nodes, it will be shown here. And if there are list ships, then it will be uh, shown in, in this section. Okay. And this is where you write uh, uh, your Cypher queries. Uh, Cypher query is basically the Sparkle version for a new 4G. Okay, so let's switch to the API. So just to shorten this video, I have already uh, uh, added the implementation. So uh, we will go through it. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to connect to the new 4G uh, server, and to do that, uh, first uh, install the package. Okay, new 4G client package. So. Uh, I have already done that. It is this one, new 4G client. Okay, so once you add that package into your project, uh, inside the startup, uh, you can uh, connect to uh, the new 4G uh, server using uh, this class, Bolt Graph Client. Okay, uh, I'm using the uh, Bolt uh, address to connect to the server. Uh, there is also a new 4G address okay to connect to it then you have to provide uh, the address and the username and the password okay uh, uh, we just used uh, to log in into that then uh, you can uh, call the connect method on it after that I have added this uh, client into the DI okay so that I can inject it in, into my controllers so this is all you have to do connect to the server okay then I have the simple models for instance the department model which has ID and title and an employee model which is also simple just ID and name okay then in my controllers if we start with department controller so I have uh, the basic CRUD APIs okay so uh, I have injected uh, the client uh, which refers to uh, the new 4G so for uh, getting all uh, departments mm, I'm uh, querying uh, uh, through the cipher language and this is how you do it uh, on the client 
call cipher then this is a kind of a square statement or sparkle statement okay so match all department in this okay this will return all department nodes okay or all nodes of type department okay and this statement will um, uh, will return the return data as array of departments or list of departments okay so that's it for this one if you want to retrieve a node by a particular attribute in this case let's say id then you just uh, you will use the same type of statement except uh, we'll add a where statement which will filter uh, the node with a particular id okay department d is a, vari a variable d dot id matches the id we just uh, passed and in such case the id could be uh, could be associated to multiple nodes so uh, here i'm just uh, retrieving only uh, one element from the list that could be retrieved here okay and to create uh, to create a node of type let's say department uh, you'll use the, the create statement from uh, cipher and this is how you do it d department the node type okay then this is a parameter uh, we are linking here to the actual module okay with param department department and execute we are not expecting any result back so if it passes this uh, line that means it has created it successfully okay uh, to update uh, uh, then we uh, uh, we have a different statement first we need to filter uh, or we need to retrieve the node we are trying to update once we do that okay once we do that uh, we will set or we will change all the data uh, it has so uh, we, we are doing that uh, by using this statement d is equal to uh, dollar department where dollar department is a parameter variable which later is mapped to the actual data d is the one uh, that's retrieved here okay so then execute that's it and the last one is delete okay so this uh, this particular statement is to delete uh, of a node of type department with a particular id value okay so first find a match okay uh, a node of department with this id and delete that d, uh, department okay where d is this variable you can name it x y z whatever you want okay so let's run this and check start with the bit it's returning empty list because since we don't have any departments yet uh, so let's create ID let's call the ID let's say the title department so it has succeeded let's add one more chart self okay then let's go here yeah now we have two departments okay so if we click on that it will show you the departments that we just created here uh, we can also uh, see this information by using the gate API let's try this again yeah here we have the of uh, the nodes we created uh, we can test the others as well 
to get the departments with ID 1 here it is okay uh, if I want to update this and change the title from IT to let's say information technology I can do that using the put request okay check if it's changed yeah it has been updated and we can do a delete as well it has succeeded now we should have only one department okay uh, one more thing I want to show you is how you can create a relationship between uh, different uh, node types for example if we have uh, another uh, node type of employees okay and if we want to associate the employee with a department how can we do that okay so inside the employee controller uh, uh, I only have uh, the create API which allows us to create the employee it is uh, using the same statement as uh, the department except in here I'm creating employee uh, type okay so after creating uh, the employee uh, I have another um, in the point which is which accepts two things one the de uh, department ID another one the employee ID so what this uh, API try tries to do is it assigns or it creates a link between the employee with the given employee ID to the department with the given department ID okay and this is done using this cipher statement first we will retrieve both the department and the employee uh, with the given uh, IDs okay uh, this is done by these two statements then and then this is the, the actual statement that creates relationship between these two uh, retrieved nodes okay where D refers to the department is just re retrieved and E the employee retrieved okay so this is how you create a relationship between uh, those two this creates a relationship named has employee between the department and the employee R is just simply a variable name uh, designated to the relationship type okay so it's as simple as that uh, we can also check this mm, let's see what we have here we only have one department now so let's go to the employees mm, employees in the point let's create an employee first let's call it James Execute. Okay. Now we should have. We should have. Okay. Let's just reload. Yeah. We have one department entity and another uh, employee node. Okay. So to create a relationship between those two, let's use the last API this one department ID 1 employee ID 1 execute okay now let's check so uh, as you can see under relationship types we have has employees okay so which shows a, a one relationship between James and information technology department so this is how you uh, connect to new 4j server and run queries uh, from a dotnet dotnet core web api i hope this was helpful
if you like the, the tutorial like the video and try to share it